Hello everyone, I am Rohit and this is the day 4 of the integration hub training. In this day we will talk about that setup request body and JSON parser. So we have already successfully set up the connection and credential and now it's time to set up the request body. Normally request body is, comes from a JSON format. So we will set up this uh, in a JSON format. After successfully set up the request body, service now is going to send the request to the Jira side and then Jira side is going to be response and that response will become as a JSON format also. So we need to be parsed using the JSON parser. Using the JSON parser, we are going to process that response from the Jira and then we'll store in some other output. So let's go back to the service now and see how it works. So this is my base URL, which is coming from nothing but uh, from here. All right. Now under these, after that you can see, we have a resource path. So if I go back to this uh, documentation, you can see that to create an issue, uh, if I click that, on which endpoint I should hit that, my .NET, then this is the endpoint I should hit that. I'll copy this um, endpoint and paste here called resource path. Now what should be the method? The method should be post. So we'll select that method equal to post. Then in the header, what should we pass that? In the header, we should select that accept equal to application slash JSON. So I'll put that call uh, in the header, accept equal to what is the value? The value is application slash JSON. I'll copy that and paste here. Then I will put one more call. What do we have? content type will copy that content type and then the value is same called accept slash json will paste that now here you can see that we have a uh, request body right and then if i click that what are the request body we have text binary multi-part um, url from encoded so we'll select the text so in the json body we need to put uh, some uh, json um, so let's do that so if i go back to the documentation under this documentation you can see uh, data right so this is the json that we have to be paste there in our flow designer here we need to be paste that so what i'll do i'll copy this whole code let's say i'm going to copy this whole code and what I'll do, I'll paste into the body. So instead of doing that into that body, I'll click this plus sign and then I'll pick that script one. So I'll go and then pick the script one. And then in the script, uh, I will say that the script name call JSON build, something like that, okay? So I'll put this name. Here I'm going to put our uh, you know, build the JSON. Okay. So let's say that I'm going to build that JSON here. Uh, you will paste there call where JSON JSON body. So this is my variable and under this variable, I'm going to paste whole code. So I have paste whole code. Under this code, you can see there are a lot of fields called custom fields that we don't need that actually. So what I'll do, I don't need that assigned. So I'll remove that. I don't need the component. So I'll remove that field. Then I don't need this custom field. So I'll remove this custom fields. And if you see that this is also I don't need, I'll remove this custom field. This custom field also I don't need. So I'll remove this custom field. Okay. And then let's say that I don't need this, uh, these all custom fields. So I'll remove that. Okay. So these all are, are removed. Now I need the description. So this is the description format. I don't need the due date. I'll remove that due date. Uh, this is the environment. Even I don't need the environment. So I'll remove this environment for that moment. Later, if needed, I can put that. So fixed version, um, I don't need that. Okay. I'll remove that fixed version. Issue type I needed. Um, I don't need the label. I'll remove that label one. I don't need the parent and then uh, project. Uh, sorry, priority. I don't need. I'll remove that. Reporter. I don't need that. I'll remove that. And security. I don't need that. I'll remove that. So these are the things I don't need. Whatever the things I don't need, I'll just removing one by one. So let's say that I have removed most of the fields. So let's understand one more time. So I need the description, right? So I need the description under the description here. I need to put the actual text and then I need the issue type. I need the project and then I need the summary. 
So this is what I need actually. And then um, these things I should be passed that the bottom part, right? So let's do that. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to put this hard coded value. So I'm not going to build that. I'm not going to put this dynamic value called body. Uh, I mean, this uh, description and then uh, summary is going to be hard coded. I will just replace the project ID issue type. And yeah, I think I, I should replace these two and see that. So if you try to create a new, if you go back here and if you try to create a new uh, issue, the project issue type summary and then uh, these three are mandatory. So first we'll put the project. So if I go back here and click this view all, you can see these are all of the project and then uh, the key, the training project, the key is the train. So what I'll do, I'll go back to the flow designer and then project is the, the T R A N and this is not an ID, this is a key. So I'll replace ID with the key. Then I have an issue type and this issue type is nothing but, uh, you know, ID is 100 something like that, right? So let's see that what is the issue type in my case. I'll open this training project, click this project setting and go to this issue type. And if I open the story one, you can see that issue type is 10014. This is the issue type. I'll paste that. So this is I'm going to hard code at that moment. Now, summary and then uh, description also hard coded right so these all are hard coded right now now if i scroll down that so this is the j this is the variable inside the variable i have some um something right now i need to create a variable here output variable called let's say the json i'll say and this is or say json i'll select the json and here i will copy these uh custom json or body json i'll put the body json name to be more meaningful okay so body json and under that here i need to be put some code so here you have a output variable so i'll put that output dot body json equal to the the variable that i have declared called json here i'm going to paste that if you are not able to understand something, um, uh, you can put in your, my comment section. I'll try to explain you. So here I put that outputs dot body JSON equal to JSON. So this is a variable inside the variable. I put that some body and then now go back to the rest steps here. And here we need to be put the body, right? So we will fetch from the script. So we'll go here, JSON build up and then body JSON. I'll get from here. Okay. So let's test that. So let's say that short and if I click the steps here and if I scroll down here you can see that one issue created with that uh, number is called trn-8 so this is the issue which has been created so if i go back here under these um, projects and go back to this backlog i should be able to see the uh, the eight one so this has been created now what i'll do i'll make this short description and then description dynamic for that what i'll do i'll go back here and then here i'll create new variables and then let's say that short and this short description will be come from this input so if you have not watched my uh, flow designer i will say that just go and check that so i'll say the description and then i'll map from their input called description now here this is called inputs dot description i'll put there called text equal to here i'll put that inputs dot description and then under this um, summary i'll put that call inputs dot uh, what is that parameter short so i'll put that inputs dot short so that's it it's done i'll just save and publish 
I have just saved that. One more thing, if you see that, um, the moment it's um, uh, return that, what it returning after successful it return um, ID, key, and then uh, some URL. So we need that uh, ID and key as an output. For that, what I'll do, I'll click this plus sign. We have a called JSON parser. So if you scroll down, we have a called JSON parser. Click the plus sign. And then I need to be uh, put that call uh, source data from where I am getting that. I am getting from the response. So I'll go and then select this one and then um, response body. I'll get that. And then here I need to be uh, put this uh, structure, right? So let's go back to this execution and how which type of data I'm receiving that I just need to be paste there. I'll copy that and there I'll go here and then paste that. And then click the generate target. So it will automatically uh, generate that. You can see it's automatically generate ID and everything. Okay, and uh, let's save that. Now, one more thing that this is the JSON parser, but actually in the outputs, we have not put anything. So we'll put that call, let's say that outputs, create output, what we need, we need actually the key. And one more output we need call uh, ID. So we'll put that ID and this two value will become from this JSON parser, right? So we'll go exit and then key. Key will become from root step called key and then ID will become from uh, JSON parser root step called ID. From there it will become, all right? Let's save this whole structure, this uh, whole action and then uh, try to test that. So I'll put that testing short description, testing description, and then click run test. The moment we click the run test, it should hit to that our Jira and it should create a uh, issue. You can see I got an error in line number 29. So let's see that. So we'll go back to the steps. And then under this line number 29, I got some error. So you can see I put that inputs dot short. So here I got an error. So I don't know why it is getting error. So what I did actually, I go and then update this uh, short to the short description, DEC, something like that. And then I just update my code. I'm not sure that um, why it was giving me error. So I just updated here. So maybe short was the reserve variable or something like that and then let's uh, I, I let's try that i have tried that it started working short description and then description and then run test and you should be able to see that um, i got a success and if i click the steps so the steps one is building the json json build and if you see that uh, the output is that this is the output it's generate a complete json you can see and then in the steps to uh, to do the integration so it did the integration actually and after integration it get and response so this is the response i have get and then after that you can see in the steps three we got an uh, json parser that json parser actually uh, did that uh, actually that you can see the structure way id equal to this one trend and this it's already done so what i'll do i will publish this uh, action so i'll just publish this action so our first action is done we have successfully created our own uh, custom issue uh, things now i'm going to create a new flow so go here and then create new flow so let's say that create Jira story and then click submit and skip that. The trigger condition, the trigger condition is the moment we created a record created on which table, the story table. So we'll put the RM underscore story table. 
So whenever the story will be created to the service now, I should be send the data to the Algera. What action should I do? I'll click this action and then under this action, uh, we will be able to find out our action name called Jira. I'll search that called Jira create a issue. I'll pick that and then from here, we need to be pass the short description and description. So short description will get from this story short description and then description I'll get from the story description. So I'll go and then grab that um, description from here. Okay. Once we have successfully created that uh, record or successfully created that issue, I want to put that um, that issue number or issue key in this story. So I'll go back and put that lookups here or update record. I'll go and then update record. I'll select that update record here. Under this update record, I want to put somewhere into this uh, detail. So I'll select that story record and then maybe some field let's say that do we have any call additional comments under this additional comments i want to put that story key and put the story key so let's save that and activate this flow now if i go back here under this backlog let's see how many story uh, or how many um, issues so far created so you can see so far 12 story or 12 um, was created now if I search here called stories here and try to create a story here let's say that service now story service now description and submit that this story should once I created this story into that uh, service now this story should be cascade to this uh, Zira and it should put that somewhere in case so let's refresh that and see if that is storing here or not if that created here or not so you can see the 13 story is created service now story 13 is created and this short description is coming from our uh, service now and the description is service now description which is coming from here and then if i refresh that somewhere it should be stored that all these details so this way you can integrate between one instance to the another instance i just show you that it is lengthy it have several component but if you still have any question or if you still have any doubt let me know my comment section thank you very much have a great day in our next video we'll talk few more about uh, other integration